Hey, Don here. Okay, this is the next morning, about 5.45 or so in the morning, and uh, just got up, got my breakfast, and I uh, finally got off that crazy schedule. Got up about, well, I think I woke up about 3.30 or 4, 3.30, 3.50, something. Um, anyway, not completely awake yet. <coughs> my, uh, F secure virus scan on AS Rock finished during the night and uh, it's hot when I woke up in my room that's why I hate doing that but uh, the air conditioner came on it's feeling a little better now but I wanted to get this thing finished actually I may have to start another scan I was hoping to get it turned off and I'd have to run it for a while <coughs> but uh, it uh, come up with an it has an error report and uh, as you can see there and uh, one or more files are not scanned and it gives the addresses of them and but the thing is it doesn't uh, can't see the full some of them you can see the file name but like the ones that are in my downloads Linux distro Windows exes that's cut off I have no idea what files they are. And uh, Windows Installer, MSI, that's somewhere in the, probably an old Windows update or something, unless it's a malware of some sort, but it can't, couldn't scan. It says scan timeout. Scan timeout. There's three of them. I mean, they have just numbers and for the names, but that makes, you know, that's kind of normal for Windows updates and stuff, but it's also how they hide malware, so by doing things, trying to make it look like something legitimate. Windows logs, CBS, persist, long number, dot cab. I wouldn't, I kind of wonder, I don't look in there much anymore in those kind of folders, but a cab file is a compressed file, so why would it be in the logs folder? Makes me suspect it. Then there's the ones that would break the system, maybe. Let's see, maybe not and for making it run, but it breaks something. Windows System 32, Driver Store, Fiber Top Repository, Android Win. I don't know why there's anything to do with Android in there, really. Well, yes, I do, because I've been running that uh, My Phone Explorer app on here, connected to my Android phones to control it. So, that's probably what that has to do with this. <coughs> <coughs> Thought I'd get by without coughing, but I didn't make it. Okay, um, you, I notice even when I turn my, I always turn my head away and try to get away from the phone, but it doesn't help much, it's still really loud, so sorry about that. Uh, there's four System 32, in, things in System 32 that it couldn't scan. WDF, CO installer, deal. not part of those installers listed above that I can tell. I mean, that number doesn't match. And then uh, USB CO installer 2 deal. Eclipse plugins dot plugins org Eclipse. E Eclipse is an IDE program that uh, for programming application. I don't know much program. I don't know any programming, but I did take a Python programming class uh, on the Google when Google's uh, Audacity uh, online university started out. It was free, and I took a class in there, and uh, it was really hard. And I learned some though. I learned a little bit, and so I played around. Well, I played around with them long before that, but with IDEs, different ones. I learned, I did actually, I, I couldn't write the whole thing out, but I actually learned how to copy and paste, and I made a screensaver by using what they are, they, they just had a basic screensaver, and I just put in the text that I wanted, but it was pretty interesting learning even that much about it. So, that, I think, if I remember right, that's what Eclipse is, is an IDE, so why is it doing, uh, not being allowed to be scanned, well, I don't know, probably, it may be nothing wrong with it, but it may be that. Uh, the problem is, is that all these file, all these programs and files that were innocuous to start out with, may have had uh, 
some sort, I guess you could call it a vulnerability or a back door or something that, where these uh, malwares can get into them and infect them, you know. Um, I don't know if it really is considered a vulnerability, but anyway, <coughs> anything that shows up uh, non-scannable is definitely suspect. Of course, some things that are, uh, you know, if you have files that are password protected or something, that can't be scanned. And a lot of PDFs can be that way and stuff, but there's not even a... Well, I don't know what those ones up there in my window. There could be PDFs in there. I do save PDF manuals and stuff along with my uh, ISOs and my Windows executable files. They all have to do with everything in that f those folders. Uh, I do that on all my systems. Uh, I name it the same name, you know, download, uh, put it in downloads, Linux distro, ISOs, and Windows executable. So it's something to do with uh, running Linux, installing Linux, or something. So um, I know that much. But what I'm going to do, I want to see if my USB keyboard works. Well, I'll just keep it up here. I'm going to hit enter. Oh, it does. So I didn't lose connection in here. I went ahead and got both keyboards out. The other one has been plugged in all, you know, I just, of course, left it plugged in while it was running. Well, I got them out and up on my keyboard tray and, uh, in case I couldn't do anything. But, uh, okay, no malware found on master boot records. Well, that's good. No malware found on the scan drive, so that's good. Scan error. One or more files were not scanned. This scan the scan is now complete. Your computer will be restarted. Hmm. So should I restart it back into Windows? Well, you got all those suspect files. But it's not going to... Um... I mean, if I leave my little SD card in there, it'll just try to start S secure again, which I don't need. It should have a shutdown option. Um, of course, I don't want to scan again. This will be the same results. Probably, I don't actually remember those files that uh, it couldn't scan. You know, this is, I keep losing track. Five, fifth to eight, six, probably six or seventh scanner I'd be by rescue Linux uh, system with a virus scanner I've used, different ones. Each one found something different. Uh, of course, the ones that I already previously deleted couldn't be found again, but you know, uh, um, each one found something and I got rid of it and uh, this this could be good news, you know, that I'm finally getting it cleaned up, but but the doubt of all those different files that uh, couldn't be scanned is left left dangling there. So I could go build me another one, uh, find a different one that I want to use. I'm down uh, as far as like the ones uh, listed in uh, you, uh, Sardu, which doesn't really matter. I mean, I can just go actually. I can, I remember F secure by going back through my links that I have from all my years of research. And uh, so if I'm going to just download one at a time, I may as well just pick the ones I've uh, maybe forgotten about or used, you know, used before instead of the ones like there's several in Sardu that four about four or five that I have don't really know anything about. But Sardu is not working anyway, so I can't use it. I'd have to go manually download them. So if I'm going to do all the manual downloading, then I'm and and use a new net booting to put it on there one at a time on my SD card, then I may as well just pick the ones I know something about. But I'm running out of, I've used most, all the ones I know something about and the ones that are new to me, like ESET and a couple of others. Or I've no, there's so, three or four, like Avira and stuff like that, which I never actually cared for. I didn't like the way they worked and I didn't like, uh, they seemed to always miss stuff, used to. I haven't really used Avira since. Actually, I think I was running Windows 98 probably when I used Avira. So that's like 2000, 2001, you know. So uh, I actually had it on my system for a while and I didn't like it at all. And then I discovered, well, back then I used to use uh, Semantic and Avast, I mean, Semantic and McGaffey. And I didn't like what they did to your system either. Take it over, use up too many resources, and couldn't get them out of there when you wanted to uninstall them. And 
Then I discovered a vast at some point up in there. And I've been using it most of the time ever since on my Windows systems. For a while I went and tried some other things a couple of years ago and didn't turn out like an M2L either, so and Avast always rates in the top three. If you read any you know, you can read several articles any day, you can just look up, you know, virus scanners and read articles about the top rated ones and uh, it's always in the top three or four. So, let's see. But it does miss stuff. That other one's fine. They all do. And I've never found any that didn't. And it's even, it's kind of, it used to be that way a lot back in the earlier, day, you know, back when I was talking about 15, 15 years ago, 16 years ago. But then it got to where they all kind of gave you the same results most of the time for during the mid two, uh, five years ago, this 2016. So, you know, back in that time. But now, uh, here just recently, just these last few months here, it's the every diff every one I run find something different, and I've always just I just start using the ones I liked, and uh, usually I'll just have, I'd run about three scans and it would come up clean on the third one, you know. But I, every every all three of these Windows Seven systems and, and the, well, I haven't run a bunch of scans on that Windows XP. I just ran a vast boot time scan on it because I don't use it. The only reason it's still hanging around is just to run some automotive uh, OBDI scanning tools. Uh, that's really the only reason it's hanging around because <coughs> I, I just didn't reformat it and uh, just have that, all that space on that uh, little laptop for my Linux operating system which I may end up doing now because I think it's messed up too, infected. But these three first time I've ever had three um, you know more than one actually first time I've ever had more maybe maybe, maybe two uh, Windows systems affected at the same time so uh, and I'm guessing that those files that kept saying adware uh, this and even said adware Trojan which I thought why would they name an adware Trojan you know well maybe it is a real Trojan after all because uh, they were all on those three systems and I did leave them on there when I did my scans and so evidently I made a big mistake and that was where it all came from it's the only thing I can imagine it's where it all came from and how it spread you know it started crawling through the system because Trojans they used to call them you know viruses worms they said you had to use the right word to be correct you know well now everybody just usually says either virus or Trojan and that's seem that's supposed to be okay you know but uh, Trojans, a lot of them I do know, ever since they first came out, they're worms too. They crawl through your system. And they crawl, can crawl through the network too. And that's the other thing is it could have crawled through the network. But I used to have trouble with that back when I ran all Windows systems. But ever since I went to Linux, I've really had very, never really noticed why, uh, uh, you know, something crawling my network and getting on it. Like I knew it crawled the network before because I had never put that file on another system, but it had got on there anyway. Or, you know, I discovered a bad file on one system and got onto another system, and I had never copied it over there, but it somehow crawled the network and got over there. Well, I haven't been having that trouble since 05 when I started in Linux because I've been using Linux all day, every day as my main systems, and I just mess with Windows when I want to run a program that Linux doesn't, you know, doesn't have that uh, one like it for Linux. And, uh, but it's still always in the back of my mind, you know, that something could happen. And and they keep on, they're more and more writing malware that's cross-platform. It'll run on Windows, Linux, Mac, you know, even BSD. If you've ever, uh, if you've ever heard of FreeBSD, that's another Unix-like operating system. Linux was like Unix, the old original uh, mainframe systems and servers which it's still being used today and uh, so I think another scan is the only way to feel better, decent about it with something else I'll go f I'll have to just go build me another another rescue disk and uh, 
do it again, as much as I hate to. But at least it looks like maybe it's going to clean out. And I won't have to completely reformat this system since it's the one that I would. It's the one that if I wanted to have a Windows system, it's the machine I think I'd want to have it on. And then after, you know, let, uh, as soon as I can, I'll try to get more hard drive space. I've been wanting to build a whole new system. Uh, eight, I want an 8 core AMD, is what I want, with like 16 gig of RAM at least, and something really good, you know. And I've uh, been watching prices for actually for two years now but uh, in the last last year about this time I probably should have got one and I didn't because I didn't want to spend the money but if, if they come up with any this year at a good good price then thing is is they're not really making the kind of machines I want I want a regular big box computer you know I want one something like that one right there and uh, the only time place you see them now is advertised, you know, for gamers, and they jack the price up because they've got the word game on it. And it's really just the same old systems that I've been looking at for all these years, you know. But I want something that's got a real video card. I don't need two gig, one or two gig. Two gig is what I'd like. I don't need any more than that because I'm not a gamer. And, uh, you know, something or uh, I've. I don't want to spend more than about 500, maybe 550, and I saw them for that last year, but I passed on them. Um, and th and now they're not really, they're not even making what I'm wanting. It's very many of them anymore, so I might have waited too long. I was waiting for the prices to go down. Let's see. Um, okay, I'm gonna click on. Oh, doesn't matter which. I got my hand right. I can reach the black keyboard real good. Okay, restart. Do not restart the computer. Okay, so when it restarts, kind of hold still. <coughs> when it restarts, I will. Um, Did it just shut down? No, it restarted. Can't tell. The, bl the blue light's still on. It didn't shut down. There it is. Okay, so when it gets here, I will just go over there and hard shut it down. Mem test. Oh, I don't need to run mem test, but now what I'll do is. Uh, that's very handy to have. They put that on a lot of rescue systems. You know, these that are real basic like this if there's anything they'll put on them they'll put them in test on them so I'm going to go shut it down and uh, build me up another something else and scan it again and hopefully that's, this one will be cleaned up enough to where I feel like I can use it alright this done uh, we might, we'll probably be back again with whatever it is I'd scan with bye bye